Valve's upcoming game Deadlock has quickly gained traction shooting to the top of Twitch's browse section. It's easy to see why. Deadlock is a highly competitive hybrid of two popular genres, the MOBA and the hero shooter, although it definitely leans more into the MOBA side of things. If I had to compare it, I'd say think of Smite but with a bit of an Overwatch flair. Or you could say that Overwatch and League of Legends had a strange, distorted, and frankly ugly baby. Let's talk visuals. Deadlock is not a pretty game. The map, abilities, and character designs feel dull, gray, and washed out. While Valve has crafted some iconic visuals in the past, Team Fortress 2 comes to mind, Deadlock just doesn't look very appealing. It lacks the color and vibrancy that makes other hero shooters stand out. Deadlock's visual style is boring at best, and it could use some serious refinement. Gameplay-wise, Deadlock rewards precision, especially when it comes to headshots. But more than that, the game seems to heavily favor characters with hard crowd control. If your hero doesn't have a stun, knockback, or root, prepare to be outclassed. These mechanics allow players to follow up with easy headshots, leaving some characters feeling completely underpowered compared to others. Valve's approach to lane picks and rolls in Deadlock isn't ideal. Unlike in a regular MOBA where you can pick and ban heroes for synergy and strategy, Deadlock opts for a system where players select three heroes from their roster and then click to queue up. The game then randomly assigns you one of these heroes and places you in a random lane, sometimes with another teammate. This system takes away a lot of the strategy that other MOBAs have. Now to be fair, Deadlock is still early in development, Valve is actively gathering feedback on the official forums, and the game could see significant changes before its release. However, one potential red flag is that Deadlock seems designed from the ground up with esports in mind. This focus could lead to balancing issues similar to those in League of Legends, where changes are made to cater to high-level streamers and pro players rather than the majority of the player base. That said, Valve has a strong track record, so I choose to believe Deadlock could evolve into something great. For now, Deadlock shows a lot of promise, but it's far from perfect. It has the potential to be a major contender in the esports space, but I don't see it as a hero shooter competitor to Overwatch or Marvel Rivals. I'll keep playing and hope that Valve addresses some of these early flaws before the official launch. Deadlock is so close to hitting the mark, but right now, it's not quite there yet. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more gaming reviews and news.